They are still being called by their ancestral names, slaves. Black Iraqis who have lived for hundreds of years in the southern province of Basra say they are discriminated against. There are traditions in the society. People might say it doesn't exist, but we feel it. For example, when two people fight in the street, one is black and the other one is white. They say acts had a fight with a slave. It really hurts. Shaban is a member of the movement for free Iraqis. He advocates for more rights for black Iraqis, like parliament representation and more jobs. He says there's a conspiracy against them. Why is there no black merchant or a senior black official in the state? We concluded that there's no place for the blacks in the Iraqi society or in the state. They live in poverty and on the margins of society working in low-paid professions. Local officials say there's no discrimination against anyone and that the door is open for any group to participate and take their role in the society. We don't want to differentiate one sect or colour over another. This is part of ethnic, racial and sectarian division. We want Basra to stay away from it. But if there's a big group like the blacks in Basra, they should and can compete with the other sect or groups in the elections. But some black Iraqis say they are not treated the same way as other minorities. We want to be like the Christians, the Mandaeans and other white minorities who have fixed representation in parliament. We, the black people in Iraq, have rights. An argument that some tribal sheikhs disagree with. Now politics is free for everyone and free choice, and whoever wants to be a member of parliament or heads the cabinet should present himself to the Iraqi people, and they will elect whoever they want. On the streets of Basra, residents say discrimination doesn't exist. The whites are 90% and the blacks are 10% in Iraq and Basra. That's why you find few blacks in high posts and ranks because the whites are more. But we're all brothers and my best friends are black. We live together and there's love. They are also socially interrelated. There's no difference. Others say there are some taboos. There's no exclusion of the blacks. There are some traditions in the society that they too don't intermarry, but otherwise they coexist together peacefully. And while the varying opinions continues to divide this war-ravaged country, the daily struggle for survival remains a challenge for over one million black Iraqis. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera.